Christian Wood has been traded to the Dallas Mavericks in exchange for Boban Marjanovic, Sterling Brown, Trey Burke, the 26th pick in this draft, as well as Marquise Chris. So with this trade going down, sorry if there's background noise, I'm driving. Um, so yeah, with this trade going down though, um, it's, it's a huge win for the Dallas Mavericks. Gigantic win um, for them. For the Rockets, it is, I would say, a win for them too. I would say win-win trade because for the Rockets, they are going to get the 26th pick in this draft, which, yes, may not be that valuable, but for them it may be, as well as Christian Wood is actually older than you'd think. Uh, he is in his older 20s, and he's an expiring contract, and they were not going to bring him back, we assume. So that's a really good deal for them, as well as they have already Alfred Sangoon, and with Sangoon, he is looking to be their future big man. And then also, if Chet Holmgren falls to them at do they have the third pick, which he's not going to actually, so scratch what I was going to say. But their their future is Sangoon at that center position. That is who they are looking to keep around um, and have play that position. Now, what they're getting back, Boban, he's like 33, 34. There's a shot he retires. I don't know if they end up keeping him. I would highly doubt it. It is going to be sad that Boban is going to end up probably finishing his career with the Houston Rockets, even if he never plays for them, because uh, I really like the Luka Doncic and Boban duo just for fun. It might be the end of the road for Boban, which is very sad to see because those two really were really fun together. Um, and then Christian Wood, huge, huge W for him. He gets to go play with Luka Doncic and then next season probably get a contract extension or during this season get a contract ex extension something like that done which would be huge for him uh as well as the Mavericks Luca will finally have like a number two and then if they keep Jalen Brunson honestly they're keeping Jalen Brunson now for sure and then uh they're gonna have Spencer Dinwiddie they're gonna, so they're gonna have like Tim Hardaway Reggie Bullock bring back all their guys now at this point bring back all your guys now because you didn't even give up really anyone that's a huge piece of your team because Boban doesn't really play Marquise Chris is replaceable by someone like Christian Wood and then you have Sterling Brown didn't play a ton Trey Burke didn't play a ton uh so yeah you can definitely replace all of these guys uh for the Rockets they don't need any of these guys. They don't need Boban. They, Marquise Chris will be nice, I guess. They'll probably keep him. Or, I don't know. I just don't know who they're going to keep out of this. They'll probably keep Sterling Brown. He's back on the Rockets. He's been there before. He is a little bit younger, probably like 25, 26. Um, and then Trey Burke, they don't need at all. So they probably are just in this for the 26th pick, which honestly surprises me that that's all they could get for Christian Wood on a one-year I, uh, I guess, so, um, yeah, good deal all around, I would say, Trey Burke, I don't know what his market's like, honestly, you guys let me know what you guys think his market's like, I don't know if he's the biggest trade market for him, uh, and then for the other guys, like Sterling Brown, I think Sterling, or I mean, not trade market, uh, free agency market, because I don't know if they'll end up keeping him, and then for guys like Troy, or not Troy Brown, no, like Sterling Brown, Sterling Brown, um, he, he's had a rough career, to say the least, when he was with Milwaukee, he had that whole Walgreens fiasco, where he double parked, or something like that, and then got beat up by the cops, and so he was a social a activist for a little bit of time, but he hasn't had the greatest NBA career, so he's probably like a borderline out of the league guy. Same with Boban, who's getting older. He would be on a team probably just for the lovability factor of him. And then, like, I could see them keeping Sterling Brown. I could. Boban, maybe. Marquis Chris, maybe. And the Marquis Chris part, I actually really like him as a player. I think he's like a perfect modern day traditional center where you just just a lob target that's all you're getting basically um, so you like that for Marquis Chris I think that he will definitely get picked up by somebody if they don't keep him and then also um, who's the other guy I didn't mention Trey Burke 
he's probably, in my opinion, borderline out of the league guy. Now, I may be wrong about Trey Burke, but I always get him, like, his status a little mixed up. But when I try to look up pictures of him, there literally weren't that many. So I'm assuming that means he doesn't play, like, a ton and that he's probably out of the league. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I may be wrong about that. But that's just the vibes I'm getting. For the Mavericks' future, though, let's talk about that. I think their starting lineup should consist of uh, Luka Doncic and then either Jalen Brunson, Spencer Dinwiddie, depending on which one of the two you want to start there. And then at the three, you have Reggie Bullock. Uh, one, of, one of these three. No, nah, I'm going to say two of these guys for the three and the four. You're going to have Reggie Bullock and... Um, Dorian Finney-Smith or Tim Hardaway, two of the three of those guys, and they're going to run a small ball lineup, even though Luka is taller, they're going to run a small ball lineup, in my opinion, that's what they should do, and then they should have Christian Wood at the center, huge upgrade from Dwight Powell and Max Kleber, I really like it, now I could also see them starting uh, probably Dwight Powell or Max, one of those two, besides, um, beside Christian Wood, and then having one of Reggie Bullock, Dorian Finney-Smith, and Tim Hardaway next to um, next to whoever I just said. Sorry, blanking. Next to Luca and Jalen Brunson or Spencer Dinwiddie. They're going to have a really good bench. Let's say they start Brunson. They're going to have Din- Dinwiddie, let's say uh, Bullock, and Tim Hardaway Jr., as well as Dwight Powell off the bench. That's a pretty good bench. I like it. Um, and, hey, that's pretty better than the team they had list this year that went all the way to the conference finals and won one game in the conference finals that's a better team than that so in all it is definitely a win for the dallas mavericks i like it a lot it is probably a win for the houston rockets too because everyone knew they were trying to get rid of uh, or at least i felt like they were definitely getting rid of christian wood there was just no way they were going to end up keeping him And getting a 26th pick isn't bad for this draft class, which I feel like looks pretty good. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know too much about the draft class other than, like, the top 10. So, correct me if I'm wrong about it looking good. But Houston Rockets look like they're going in full rebuild mode, which is the correct thing for them to do. Um, Yeah, well, we already kind of knew that. But, like, it looks like they're definitely going in the full rebuild mode. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification post all. I really appreciate, appreciate you guys sticking around all the way till the end. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. See you guys next time, and peace out, my friends.